Hello and welcome to Balanced. I'm Michelle and today I'm excited to take you through a 20 minute core workout. All you'll need is a mat and a set of weights if you'd like and possibly access to a chair or a wall if you'd like them for a little bit of balanced support. We'll start on the floor to warm up. We'll go to some standing core and finish up down on the mat. So remember, work at your own pace and more importantly than anything else, have fun and enjoy your workout. Let's get started. All right, we're going to start down on all fours. So we are lining the shoulders right above the wrist. And we'll go into some cat cows. Inhaling to drop down through the chest. Exhaling to roll up through the spine. Think like you're massaging the spine with movement. We're both warming everything up here. But we are also going into an ab crunch really on all fours. So try to maybe pause for a moment at the top of that cat, really feel the strength of the core working. Articulating through each vertebrae, working at your own pace. We'll take this for about 15 more seconds to really warm up that core. Really nice, everyone. Beautiful. From here, we're going to move into our bird dog. So coming back into a neutral position, right on all fours, we'll start to alternate lifting up one leg and then the other. Again, there is no rush here. I'd like you to move with quality of movement versus quantity. So as you're extending back, really push through the heel. Yeah, again, you can even pause for a moment just to feel the strength of the back and the leg and the hip here. If you'd like to add a little extra balance challenge, we'll take the opposite arm than leg. And I do reckon I recommend that you keep it opposite arm and leg. Often in class, I'll see people trying to do the same leg and arm, and that's really hard. No need to make it any harder than necessary. Continue to alternate at your own pace for about 20 more seconds. And really challenge yourself to push strongly through the heel. You'll feel the entire leg fired up a bit more when you try that nice push. Nicely done. When you are even on both sides, let's come back to all fours and we'll go into our quadruped rotation. So taking the right hand right next to your ear or on the head, inhale to lift up, exhale, twist it down. Inhale to lift and exhale to twist. So you'll notice that we're warming up in every range of motion. We're going forward and back, side to side and twisting working both the front and back of the body. That's an important part of our core work that we move in all different planes of direction. Really nice. Continue enjoying this beautiful twist. Very nice. Let's come back to our neutral position, taking it over to the opposite side. Inhaling to lift. Exhale, twist that down. So check in here, try to really stabilize through the hips so you're not swinging them as you twist. Keep those hips nice and stable so you really get the movement coming from that rotation of the spine. We've got about 15 more seconds here. Enjoy the warm up before it starts getting, getting tough. Keep the breath going nice and relaxed. Whatever we do, however we move, we always need to breathe. Beautiful, bring it back into neutral. Just take a little moment in child's pose, stretch out that lower back a bit. If you like, you can walk the fingertips over to one side and then take it over to the other. And we're gonna find ourselves coming up to standing. Very nice. So we're going to work on some standing core work to begin with. So this is dynamic movement that is going to engage our core. So we're just going to start with a standing knee lift. Just alternating one side and the other. And remind yourself if for any reason this feels like a balanced challenge, you can always take it against the wall or have one hand on the wall. And again, as I said earlier, 
I'd like to focus on making this very mindful movement. So we're not just flinging the legs, but almost holding it for a split second at the top. So you feel that core starting to work. Now, if you like, you can add a little twist. So taking the opposite elbow to the knee. And again, it does not matter how high your leg is going, just that you are moving it to a height that feels like a nice challenge for you. And this also is starting to warm up the body in terms of elevating that heart rate a bit. So we're multitasking of both, working into our core and strengthening our cardiovascular system. We've got about 15 seconds to go here. Challenge yourself to keep that spine a little bit longer to maybe lift that leg a centimeter more. Very nice. All right, let's shake it out a little bit. If you have weights, you can use them here. They're totally optional. We're gonna go into a squat into a side bend. So you can have the weights right here on the shoulder coming into the squat and we're just gonna take a side bend and up side bend and up. I will demo first with the weights and now without the weights. If you're not using weights, you can just take the hand right behind the head or keep it down on your quads, whatever feels good for you. And this is a great place if you want a little support. You can also take it just against the wall so your hips are against the wall and you have that nice support. So one thing I would like you to focus on here is not collapsing to the side, but thinking of lifting up tall and then curving over. Really nice. So we're getting into the lateral side of the abs here, which is a really nice way to work into the obliques. Feel that strength. 10 more seconds to go. See if you can take it a little bit deeper each time. Maybe take those arms up. Whatever that challenge means for you. Excellent job, everyone. Push into those heels. Very nice. And let's straighten those legs up. Shake your legs out a little bit. From here, we're going to go into a lunge, into a knee lift. So again, this is a great place to use a chair or the wall. We'll take it down into a nice deep lunge, pushing into that front heel and slowly lift that leg up. So again, this is not about getting that leg up super high, but feeling the core engaged as you lift. I actually think this is harder to do more slowly. So challenge yourself to move at a mindful pace here. Lifting it up. Got about 15 seconds to go here. Push into that front heel, lift nice and tall. Now again, try to avoid collapsing in that chest as you lift. So we don't wanna go here, but again, keep everything nice and long. Beautiful. Let's shake out those legs a little bit. Good news is we've done one side. The even better news is we have a second side to go. So let's take the opposite leg behind and lift it up. Pushing down and lifting. And take a moment, check in. Notice is one side easier than another? You are actually very abnormal if the sides feel e even. For most of us, one side will definitely be easier than the other. So again, we notice this not with a sense of judgment, but a sense of inquiry and acknowledgement. I often find that if I know one side is not so fun, I'll avoid it or do fewer reps. Try to work with them as evenly as feels right for you. All right, we have 20 seconds to go here. You're so strong. Stay with it. Make sure you keep breathing. And again, maybe slow it down even a little bit more to really hold it at the top of that knee lift. And we are done with that. We'll take it through this set one more time. Really getting into that standing, standing core work. So take a moment. If you need a quick sip of water, feel free to grab that and we will commence. Cheers, cheers.
All right, now that we know the movements, we're gonna take them through a little bit more rapidly in terms of cycling through them with less instruction. We're still going to work at a mindful pace because especially in core work, it's about the focus on the quality of the movement. So let's start with that standing knee lift. Really nice, everyone. Keep lifting. Option to add that twist. Just adding a little more balance, a little more core work here. 20 seconds to go. Make sure you're breathing. And as I always like to say, the advanced variation is adding a smile to your face. It is such a gift and such a joy to be able to move. We should have some fun with it. All right, from here we'll go into our side bends and our squat. Option to grab those weights if you like, bringing them to the shoulders and taking a nice little side and lift. Actually, what I like about this is that not only is it working the core, but it's a nice stretch into that lower back. I'm a big fan of the multitasking movement, getting as many things down as we can. If you think about it, the way we move in life is not isolated. So it's quite smart to do compound movements that get a lot of things working at once. We've got 10 more seconds here. See if you can maybe go a little bit deeper into that squat, maybe a little bit deeper into that side bend. Really nice. And let's come back into center. Toe heel those feet in. If you've got the weights, we'll take those down. And going into our lunge into our knee lift. So starting with that right foot behind, lunge it back and lift. We'll take about 30 seconds on each side here. Again, moving at your own pace, maybe holding it just for a second at the top of that range. And think about lifting through your core versus lifting with your legs. It's very easy to sort of get caught up in hip flexors here versus if you focus on using the abs and the core, you'll find them really firing. All right, when you're ready, let's take it over to the opposite side. Taking that lunge into that lift. Little did you know that in addition to some core work, you're getting a little bit of legs thrown in just for good measure. We've got 15 seconds to go. Stay with it. Breathing easy. For four, three, two, and one. All right, we can now get to take it down to the ground. It probably feels like a gift to get down to the earth now, doesn't it? So finding your way down to the ground, we're gonna go into some Russian twists. So again, weights are optional here. Body weight is great. But if you're comfortable with weights, we're gonna sit up nice and tall, grab onto your weight, and just take it side to side. So try to keep your gaze following the weight. So you're getting that full body twist. Really nice. Exhale as you twist, inhale to center. Move at your own perfect pace. Very nicely done. For five, four, three, two, and one. Let's set that weight down. From here, we're gonna come into a forearm plank. So coming onto all fours, let's take it down onto the forearms. From here, you can sort of measure your distance, maybe grab your elbows with your arms, and the hands can be planted straight down or clasped, whichever feels best for your body. We're gonna step one foot out and then the other. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Now again, the knees can always be down here or extended out. That is totally up to you. Make sure you're breathing. And try not to sink into this, but actively push away from the floor. The more you engage and like squeeze your inner thighs as well, the more you let the whole body take the effort, the entire core versus putting it all into your shoulders. Now I have babbled for so long, you only have five seconds left. I'll count you down. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
Release that down. Take a nice, easy stretch in your child's pose. From here, we're going to go into a supported side plank. So you're going to drop one leg down, extend the opposite leg out, and come right up here. So now if your wrist is a little sensitive, you can take fists for wrists or keep the palm of that hand down. So this is our base move. If you'd like a little extra challenge, you can lift that outer leg up. If you want an additional challenge beyond that, you can step both feet out. So again, there is no expectation to do one or the other. We've got 10 more seconds here. Lift high through the hips wherever you are. Really think of arching up through that top. Beautiful, let's come back into center and we'll take it over to the opposite side. So opposite hand down, opposite leg extends and we come into that side plank. And again, choosing whatever option feels right for you. Maybe elevating that side leg, maybe not. Maybe coming to that full extension. Beautiful, 10 more seconds here. You're doing great. For five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. From here, we're gonna come and go straight onto our stomachs and come into a Superman. Working again into that posterior chain. So hands are gonna start by the sides of the body. We can start by lifting up the legs. If it feels comfortable, we're gonna lift up the torso as well. The hands can stay by the side of the body or come up to a T position, your choice. And release it down, left ear to the mat. Just shake those hips out a little bit. Coming up one more time, lifting up. Breathe into it. I often find that I tend to hold my breath here because I'm trying so hard to lift everything up. So check in. Can you talk to a friend? Can you talk to me on the TV? Can you talk to your pet? Make sure the breath is there, that you're conversational. Find another moment or two here. And release the opposite ear down. Shake it out a bit. And coming back up. We're going to work through the twists, the plank, and the Superman one more time before we finish up with a final bonus exercise. So let's come back to seated, grab that weight, and come into your Russian twist. Now that you're familiar with the exercise, check in. Can you maybe take it a little bit deeper into that twist? Really nice. Excellent job, everyone. for five, four, three, two, and one. Letting that weight come down, coming into our forearm plank or any variation that you like. So again, legs can stay extended or released down. We're holding it for 30 seconds. Nice and easy. Breathing actively pressing away from the floor and is always smiling nice let's hold that for five four three two and one taking it down to the earth coming into our superman pose lifting up through the crown of the head and the legs and you are correct i did not give you a break there we're moving right through it we're in the final push lifting tall for five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing down. Press it back into your child's pose. And last exercise before we come to our stretch will be our glute bridge. Little bonus exercise here. So we're gonna come onto our backs with the soles of the feet on the ground. You have an option to bring the weight right to the hips. We're just gonna press up and release it down. So push strongly into the heels, really feel the glute and the hamstring activated here. So again, this is one where you can pause right at the top, give yourself an extra moment or two to just enjoy that push. Really nice work, everyone. Challenge yourself to see if you can get about eight more reps in working at your own pace. 
Lifting and lowering. Beautiful. Let's take three more. Two. And last one. You have done it. We are moving to our stretch. Let's hug the knees into the chest. And again, you can roll out that lower back a little bit. I like to grab underneath my hamstrings, or you can grab over your calves. And just take a little figure four pose, stretching into it. Switching it over to the opposite side. And gently let the feet come down, roll it out side to side a bit, stretching out that lower back. And gently rolling over to one side and pushing yourself up to seated. And that is your class for today. Thank you so much for joining me for 20 minutes of core. I hope you're feeling strong and centered and I hope to see you next time at Balanced.